button my shoulder. <laughs> Graham Norton, move over. It's the yellow, it's the yellow bittern himself. Uh, every, every Irish poet has a go at the yellow bittern, this poor dead bird. Uh, and, um, and I had a go, and Seamus Heaney had a go. And um, I got very near to it, and, and Heaney wasn't far off, but tonight you'll hear the real thing from James McDonald. Thanks, Rucker. Um, yeah, so the, the, the one poem that I've uh, given to this uh, collection, which I, I do take responsibility for it, but an awful lot of people made it happen, and an awful lot of you are here tonight, so I'm not going to start naming names, but you, you know who you are, and hopefully I've, I've thanked you all uh, uh, up until now. But the, the one poem that I was allowed to put in is, is The Yellow Bitter. And when we, when we kind of, when we were trying to get Jim Costa's work published, uh, we we kind of thought well you know it's th this this Mur Phoenix poem which takes up the, the second half exactly half of the collection there's there's a lot of themes uh, to pick out of it um, a lot of historical themes kind of national themes the, the the one of life and death and the prospect of being more alive after your death than you were before it uh, was a really interesting one and and you know, the poem that I wanted to give towards that was, was this translation I did of the Yellow Bittern. I've been scribbling away at it for ages. The, the story, if you don't know it, um, of uh, the Yellow Bittern, uh, the, the original poem in Gaelic uh, by Cahal Bui Mugilagunna, uh, who translates as Charlie Gunn. Uh, I'll just show you how much gets lost in translation. <laughs> but, uh, but it's that he was, he was a poet, which is an alcoholic, uh, and he was walking along the road and he found this very exotic bird that I don't think really could ever have been in Ireland, but he found it there anyway. And it was dead on a frozen puddle and it had been pecking at the puddle for a drink of water, but it died in vain from thirst. And this was a sign, obviously, to a poet, uh, that you should never die of thirst, you should continue drinking, <laughs> despite the warnings of doctors and lovers. And, and I finished this poem on the day that Seamus Heaney passed away. Um, and, and he, as Racker said, uh, did, did one of the better known translations of it. This is the poem. There you lie now, face down, disgraced on ice. Denied the vital drink in your hour of need. A change in the weather might bring my own fate soon, as lately it brought yours. I mourn the death of the rare one, the odd, the shy. The perfect. My elegy is in haste to save your name. Though eternity now is yours, my time runs out as streams to the river, to the sea. The other songsters and high ascenders, hunters, waders, all may wait as now your carcass passes by. From your death we sense the wealth in living, the joy in each drop from each day's wet lake. So drain them we shall, and I will raise to your memory yellow bittern a glass and ask for time. Thanks very much.